Got my co-pilot here for the intro today. So I'm coming at you from the truck. Um, we are waiting at the vet. Somebody has a bladder infection, I think. Nothing crazy, but um, the measures they're taking here is that they will come out to get my dog, um, just being extra cautious for coronavirus reasons. Um, so we're just waiting here, waiting our turn. Um, but Washington State is in a full lockdown now. So this is pretty crazy. What that means is that you are only to leave for emergencies and essential things. So um, you are allowed to leave to go to the grocery grocery store, to the doctor, to the pharmacy, um, and then also to the vet for emergencies only. So um, bladder infection, we kind of figured, yeah, she probably needs to go. Um, so yeah, only for those reasons can you leave the house right now. All non-essential services are supposed to close within the next 24 hours unless everybody can work from home. Um, so it's just kind of a crazy time. So I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about our week here at home. It hasn't really been that exciting, but uh, I will show you a little bit of a kind of day-to-day -day look into our lives here. So I wake up at quarter to six every morning and I like to have my coffee, at least three of them. And then I work on some personal growth with my little buddy, Dally. And then when it starts to warm up a bit, we go out and take care of all the horses. Well, day in the life continued. So it's about 8.30 this morning. Um, this time of year, I don't feed my horses super early in the morning because to be honest, it's still dark and it's cold. <laughs> so, you know, unless we have somewhere to go or be, um, 8.30 or 9 is just fine. Hi, baby girl. This is Jada's little pen that we've made. And she has to have a friend close by or she loses her ever-loving mind. So Rabbit is in kind of the extended part of the pen around her. Wait, you can't be alone. Usually we have like a little side-by-side -side to drive around on for me to go feed the horses, <laughs> but it quit on us just before we left for Arizona. So um, Cody has put hay out at each kind of different location where there's horses grouped. So I just walk around and feed them this way now, just still easy. There's four geldings out there. Hi guys. So I make four piles out here for these guys. And this is the time of year that's kind of annoying because it's cold at night, it's still below freezing, but then it gets warm during the day. So that usually means I take everyone's blankets off, which I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna ride in a little bit and I'll take them off then. And I got these two down here. Good morning, Cloud. I also do green in the morning. I just do green once a day. And uh, the only ones that are getting green right now are um, Claude and Jada, and uh, actually Cody's mare too. So um, I don't really do a ton of green, and the reason being we have really good hay. Um, we're pretty lucky here in Ellensburg too. We have access to really good quality hay. So that is the key. And because of that, I don't really need to feed a lot of green. I basically just do it so they can get some supplements. Um, so. My performance horses, they get, you know, their sharp edge, which is a like herbal supplement. So depending what their needs are and, um, yeah, then Cody's horse, she gets mare mix as well and a joint supplement because she's a little older. Hi. And I just dump it right in their feeder. If you'll let me. There you go, Cloud. Break the ice off the waters. And gotta feed Mr. Squirrel, the outdoor cat. All right, morning routine done. Now I'm gonna go eat me some breakfast. Oh, you're tied up, so that's not gonna work. All set up. My first time on cloud in, geez, a month.
Hi, beautiful girl. It must be springtime. <laughs> so, um, we've been trying to learn to play fetch, and this is how well it's going. I'd rather just take it and chew it up. <laughs> Working on having her stay at the gate. So when I go in where the horses are, I tell her to stay. And she's doing good. Day six of social distancing. Here I am. Painting. Giving new life to our bathroom cupboards. Hello, beautiful mama. Should we give you a brush in? What do you think, pretty girl? I know, you're pretty girl. Grinchy really likes her bum rubs. Don't you? Oh, you heard the treats. Yeah. Good girl. You are by far the weirdest cat I've ever met. Raw asparagus. heading into town so I Cody and I have been social distancing uh, but to a pretty extreme because I kind of think with all this stuff if we don't take it seriously and just get it done um, it's just gonna take longer for everything to go back to normal so it's pretty stay at home which is nice uh, we both work from home we have all our horses here we have an arena to ride in um, you know I just kind of made my trips to town less frequent so some of the local businesses here are being awesome um, so I had to get feed today and I was like, how am I going to do this without talking to anybody? Um, so I called the feed store, was able to prepay ahead of time, put in my order and they're going to have it outside for me. And then I'll just back up to the bay and someone will throw all my stuff in. I'll be good to go. Um, and then the same thing for the paint store because I've been painting our house. Um, they are open, but not people coming into the store. So they're doing the same thing. I ordered my paint. I knew what I needed, which helped. And then um, they're able to put it outside for me so I can just go stop by and grab the box. So um, there's a lot of people in Washington taking it very seriously. This uh, coronavirus has been kind of rampant here, which is a little bit scary, but I'm glad people are taking it seriously. So we can just get, you know, get through this and get back to normal quicker. Store, just back right up to the bay. Yelled out the window who I am, and they're gonna load it up. Yeah, we do have a bladder infection. Poor baby. We're gonna get you better, yeah. Well, guys, thanks for watching. So a bit of a different episode this week. Um, just kind of where we're at in life. And, you know, I wanted to offer some words of encouragement to you. It's just, you know, a reminder, you guys... This is not a comfortable thing for anybody. We're all scared. We're all freaked out. Um, it's a very uncertain and unsettling thing. Um, I've never experienced anything like this in my life to deal with a pandemic. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you haven't either. And the thing that's crazy is that this is something that for the entire world to be worried about. Like you hear a lot. I mean, we live in a first world country. I'm Canadian and now live in the U.S. And have been very lucky to come from a great life. And never really had to be worried for where my food would come from or shelter or anything like that. So I've been very blessed as I'm sure many of you have as well. So the thing that's crazy about this is this is something that all of us have to worry about. There's nothing. Social class means nothing. Race means nothing what language you speak means nothing um, this is just something that humanity as a whole needs to be concerned with and I think that is you know a beautiful lesson for us to all band together and put aside our differences and just really worry about taking care of each other and ourselves and our family and use this as a time like if you you know you're home and you're bored um, again it's <laughs> lucky for us we live on a farm and have a lot of horses so there's not a lot of boredom for us um, but you know maybe now's a time to uh, read the book you always wanted to read or if you have been wanting to try yoga or something you know get on YouTube there's a whole lot of stuff you can learn from YouTube um, maybe you know you've been wanting to learn a language there's a bunch of free apps where you can learn different languages so you know and then spend time with your family if you guys are quarantined together 
it's time to hang out together. Um, or, you know, if you're like me, where my family's far away, utilize FaceTime. What a cool day and age we live in. I've got to FaceTime with my Oma, with my parents, um, and you can FaceTime your friends. Like, it's just the coolest thing that we, you know, we have to be maybe quarantined and away from each other, but we still have the ability to see each other and connect. So that's a beautiful thing. So just keep it positive, stay healthy, take this seriously, you guys, because I want to go back to real life. <laughs> I'm sure the rest of you do. So I'm sending prayers to all of you and to your families. So please stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys for another episode of Lord knows what's going to be going on for next week. Thanks for watching.